Hey guys, welcome back. So, I'm going to be making a bunch of eyeballs. So, we're just going to do that in various sizes. Um, so, I'm going to start with black UV resin. And then I'm going to go in with a bunch of different colors. I've got red and caramel and green. Alright, and then fill in with white. So I'll see you then. Alright. In two minutes. Let me get them out. I have a bunch of eyeballs now. <laughs> so let me show you what we're going to do. We are going to make a Halloween tray without this hair in it. Though. Yeah, don't want the hair. My back is blue. There we go. We're making a Halloween tray. And this is going to be my contribution to the uh, Halloween 2024 collaboration with Many Scenes GB and Crafty YouTubers United on Discord. And uh, so let's let's do our next step here. So what I want is my red UV resin. And I'm gonna go along edge here, the top edge of my tray, just a little bit. Gonna make a line, and then with that line, I'm going to tip up UV resin so it drips and looks spooky. And while that's dripping, I'm going to hit it with my UV lamp. So that's set in place. I'm going to try something. I'm up here above the camera and I'm going to try to just drop drops of UV resin from a height so they're very sporadic Okay, so now that that's done, we have some really cool little blood drips. I'm going to mix up some uh, resin. I'll be right back. 
All right, so I have two ounces of my Fooey Tim one to one over there that I am letting marinate. Meanwhile, I have some of these skull plastic bead bracelets that I got at Walmart last year uh, at Halloween. And I still have some left. And what I'm going to do is use some of these real in our tray. So I'm going to cut that off. And look, that one just went exactly where I wanted it to. <laughs> How smart is it? So, but I do want to turn it this way. So I'm just going to put these around the rim. Here we go. And now these little beads do have holes in them because they're obviously beads. Um, but we're going to do our best to keep bubbles out. But if we get bubbles, it's okay. It's just part of its personality. Blow off some bubbles. Some of the resin. Pour it in. There it is. I knew I had a I take mess mitigation guys around here somewhere. So now that we've done that, I'm going to go in. First, though, I do want to get rid of some of the bubbles. with some of the purple. Let it pop some of those bubbles. This will also help with any bubbles that are coming up out of the beads. And then I'm just going to start plopping in eyeballs. All right, so we're going to let this layer cure, and then I'll come back for the next layer. So I'll see you guys then. See you soon. All right, so this has been sitting for about half an hour. So what I have here is some opaque red uh, epoxy resin pigment. And what I'm going to do is just drop it from a height. So it kind of has a tendency to blob, splash. It's 
see. It'll make cool patterns. Like, ooh, it's better. Because if you do it from too low, it won't splatter as well. All right, so now that we've got that, we wait. <laughs> See you soon. All right, so this has had uh, quite a bit of time to tack up. And what we have here is plain, boring, dull, ordinary cheesecloth. So what I'm going to do is put some cheesecloth on it. We're getting cheesy clothy. Another layer go. So I'm going to wait for that to get cured and I will see you for next steps. See you soon. All right. So now we're going to do our back layer. So here I have about an ounce and a half of my food Tim one to one. I'm going to add some Let's Resin Black Mica Powder. And let me find a scoop. Where are my tiny scoops? There's one. Tiny hey, scoop. That's a lot. That's too much. That's way too much. Too much. Alright. Let me scoop of black powder. And then I'm also going to be adding some of my Let's Resin Holographic Glitter in purple. Because why not? Pretty healthy little scoop. <laughs> Sneak it up on you. Pretty healthy scoop of the holographic purple. Don't see any floaty bits, which is good. So let's get to her in. You know, hey, you know, resin does what resin wants to do, and we just say, okay, resin, you do your thing, chicken wing. All right, so now, I'm going to let that cure and get all awesome and fantastic, and I will see you guys for the demold. See you soon. 
it is time to demold. So let's get it out. I'm loving the way this purple holographic is looking on the bottom. Look at that! Ah, it's so sparkly! There's our skulls around the edge. Turn the mold out. Mold is clean as whistle. Clean, clean. I love these PP craft molds. All right, you ready? Me too. One, two, three. Oh, what? Look at that. Cool. I love how the skulls kind of look like mummies along the edge from the top, but when you turn it to the side, there they are. Oh, that's wicked. And we have our eyeballs and our blood dripping splatters and the, oh, the cheesecloth. That is awesome and you can kind of still see through it can you see my fingers move along the back oh that looks so awesome and spooky and halloweeny and just really cool <laughs> i love it i love it i love it i love it so again thank you so much to tracy for hosting this uh Halloween collaboration. Uh, at the end of the video, I will be posting um, a link to the entire playlist. So please, please, please go check everybody out. Grab yourself a cuppa and a snack and just binge watch. And there's so, so many cool, cool people out there making amazing projects of all varieties, not just resin, but everything. And, uh, yeah, so thank you so much. <sighs> I hope you guys love it as much as I do. The eyes have it. I love it. <laughs> thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Take care. Cheers.